All right, let's take a look at the guitar chord finder. There are a lot of chords. And when you're first learning to play the guitar, you learn some of the most basic chords. And then as time goes by, you start building up your vocabulary uh, of more and more chords. But there's always going to be a time when you come across a chord in a song when you say, what the heck's that? So uh, that's when a chord finder like this is going to be helpful. Now, taking a look at the chord finder here, there's uh, a couple things. First of all, you want to take a look at the very bottom drop-down menu gives you the perspective of the neck. And by default, this is set to right-handed upside down. This is the same perspective if you were looking down at your left hand um, playing the chords. Now you can also set this to right-handed upright. That would be if you were looking at another player playing. Or if you're lefty, there's a couple options too here. Is if I choose left-handed upside down, then that's if you're looking at your right hand looking down at your hand. Or if I choose left-handed upright, that's if you're looking at another lefty playing. So, um, But I'm going to set this back to right-handed upside down, which I think is kind of the default where right-handers want to use. And then you can, there's a bunch of drop-down menus here, and you can choose chords. And the first one is it says basic. These are just some some basic chords and like this basic G7 that I hit here this shows you where your fingers need to go now it doesn't tell you the fingers but you, you, you can kinda of work on this sometimes there's more than one option but figure out where where to put your fingers but not, it doesn't tell you which fingers to use and if you see dots right here on the nut that means an open string so these are just some of the most basic uh, guitar chords, and then all of the other check uh, or all the other drop down menus are the root of the chords. So here I see C. I hit that. You know, if I want to see um, major nine chord, it shows me that. Uh, again, gives me some options of where some open strings are in those uh, chords as well. So. Uh, this is just a way, you know, this doesn't show you every chord imaginable, but it's just a way if you're kind of stuck and, and want to be able to find a particular chord, you can use this uh, guitar chord finder.